What's up, everyone? We are halfway through the short week. It's time for a recap of the day trades I've taken that have really stood out to me. Kind of give you my thought process, walk you through the trade, my reasoning. But as always, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the thumbs up button, and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Now let's take a look at this NVIDIA trade. This is a trade I took today. I called this out through voice. So I called this trade out live inside team bull my watch list said i was watching a 136 reject but you know we had a nice pump right before open we hit this level then it broke it so when we have a pump like this i like to identify where the next resistance or area of confluence is which was around this 136.5 i set this 137 that was if i if we broke above that that was going to be my stop loss that was going to tell me you know that we had quite a bit of room up to the next resistance i wasn't going to hold above that level I got in here, we had a pull down before we ever had this five minute candle open. So I trimmed in this area here. Then we had a nice push up. I had some runners remaining at this point. Um, actually I had quite a, quite a bit of my position left at this point, but we had a nice push up. I held, I said, okay, I'm going to follow my plan. Above this 137 was my stop loss. Before I ever entered this trade, I held through this. I told the members I was holding, made it clear. Uh, as you can see here, I had a nice pull down. My final sell was in this area here. Very happy with my execution on this trade. Had a very nice return off the money I had into this trade. If you have any questions about this trade, if you took this, I'm glad you made money. Uh, I gave everyone this level on my pre-market Instagram live that I do every morning. What we do, we get on there, we come up with a game plan, creator watch list, vibe, you know, just a good time all around. I took a trade on SPX today. I called this out inside Team Bull as well. I said, you know, I was going to take a puts in this area here off this candle. I was watching SPY as well. You could have traded SPY or SPX. What people do when you're trading SPY, you're watching SPX most of the time. So we got in right at the top of this candle here for puts and had a very nice move down, as you can see, all the way back down to this 3, 9, 11 area, which that was where, that's where my final sell was. I did have one remaining runner and I got stopped out on this candle here right at break even on the put option. But overall, it was a very nice return. And I tried something a little different on this trade, something I've been experimenting with. I tend to stay away from same day expiration, right? But SPX, I've noticed the contracts, even the out of the money ones, they move nicely. And uh, what I did, I picked up roughly five contracts, put options, out of the money, very affordable, small account friendly, and they move really nice. I'm very impressed with the way they moved. But anytime you trade same day expiration, it does add to the risk. So be sure if you do trade them that you have a decently tight stop loss and you know how to manage that sort of trade. But, you know, this has been a short week, two trades today. Uh, yesterday I did okay. I did okay profit wise, but my trading yesterday just wasn't there. My mind wasn't in it. Honestly, I should have set it out, but I ended the day green. I did break my trading plan a little which to me, that makes it a losing trade regardless. You do not want to create habits of breaking your trading plan because you have a fine-tuned that trading plan to keep you constantly profitable, right? So if you start breaking it, losing that discipline to follow it, it's creating bad habits. And that's definitely something you don't want to do. And that's something I stay away from. I was focused in today. I was ready to make some money. My execution was on point today. But that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me. Um, pay close attention. I'm about to drop something. It'll be in my link. It's going to help a lot of people out. It's going. It's not going to be super expensive. It's just going to be something I've been working on. Well, started working on here recently. I'm going to put more effort into it, try to finish it up. So be sure to keep an eye on that. If you're not inside Team Bull, I would love to have you join us. You can go to my link, go to grizzlytrades.com, join the Discord. Just nothing but positivity and motivation in there. No disrespect allowed. I think, uh, I, like, I, I say it's a, it's like a family in there. I worked hard to create that environment, but that's all I got. Appreciate you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time.